speaker, and he is Irish on both sides. Have you noticed his gift of glory? <laughs> ben says that there is no truth to the old myth of all Irish men being gorgeous. <laughs> Chrissy Hodges will be evaluating Vince. Chrissy, can we hear about Vince's objectives? Please? Thank you, Sylvia. <coughs> Vince is doing the To Motivate speech from the Better More Superior Club series today. These speeches address specific leadership skills that are essential to growth. <coughs> With this speech, Vince will complete his advanced leader bronze. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Draw near and behold. <laughs> it is called Get Up and Go, right? Or did you change that? Please welcome Vince Coran with Get Up and Go, Vince Coran. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Ask not what your country can do for you, <laughs> but ask what you can do for your country. Sometime, when the team is up against it, and the brakes are beating the boys, tell them to take everything they've got and go out there and win just one for the kicker. <laughs> Clear eyes, full hearts, can't, can't lose. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> These are all inspiring words. Most of the words we've all heard before, very inspiring. But words can only be inspiring if you can back them up with action. Empty words, they don't fill anyone's heart. In order to motivate people, it's very, very important. Uh, it is difficult, and I know I have been through this myself personally. Uh, some of you may have noticed. And Recently, I have actually kind of been in somewhat of a psychic funk, where I just didn't feel right. I was a little emotionally drained. I was a little beat up, and I needed some motivation myself. Fortunately, that did just happen recently. So I really wasn't motivated to prepare this speech as well as I could have. And yet, I actually dug deep and got a little bit of that motivation. Part of it is because my wife is starting to experience some relief from the back problem she's been having for the last six months. But motivation is very, very important. And it's also a little ironic that people actually have to be motivated. People really sometimes need just a, you know, like a, just a kick in the butt, you know, a little cow prop, eh, to get them to do something that in the final analysis is for their own benefit anyway. It's difficult to get people to do that kind of thing. But, you know, inertia is a word for a reason. <laughs> Because it is hard, boy, once you stop, it's hard to get started again. Sometimes you need a little bit of outside, outside influence. And everybody has an excuse, you know, for not doing things. I'm sure you've got all kinds of excuses. What kind of excuses have you ever heard of, Robert, for people not, not wanting to do something? I'm tired. I'm tired, of course, everybody is. I mean, it's such a busy world. Sarah, ever, what kind of excuses do you hear, or do you use? Uh, I don't use this one, but I, I just don't have money. You don't have the money? Abigail, do you have any excuses you use? Busy. You're busy? Often. Keith? We'll get tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, there's time. There's time. The other one I hear too is, well, I don't have anything to offer. You know, what can they learn from me? <coughs> I'm just a guy. That's kind of the way I was feeling recently. Because I came into this club, you know, after 30 years of comedy background, and probably wasn't the club I should have picked because everybody in here is darn funny. It doesn't make me feel so elated, you know. But, but I think it's a wonderful thing. Put away all of those excuses that we've been using. 
okay? All these excuses are stupid. Do something to actually get yourself moving. I know sometimes it's difficult because you're just sitting there. Kind of get up, work slow, stand up, and take one step, and another step, and another step. And eventually you're going to be moving in the right direction. Most of the things that as Toastmasters we want to motivate people to do is we want to motivate people to become better leaders. And in many, 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 if not all cases, becoming a better leader means giving. Now, I feel, in my, in my mind, it's always been my thought that the best way to motivate, the best way to get people involved is to use action. Don't tell people what you want to do. Show them. Be the example. Be the demonstration that sells the product of giving. Now, a lot of people, the motivations that they have in the manual, and these crack me up too, which I think is very funny. I don't know, this manual, I think, may have been written back in the 50s or something. According to the manual, okay, here's some of the things that motivate people. Here's how you get people motivated. Money. Okay, I'm all for that. Money's good. Praise. Public recognition. Feeding the ego. <laughs> Promotion. Anybody can think of any other emotion, you know, emotions that you might want to use to motivate people, to help them motivate? Fear. Fear? <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Fear's not a bad thing. You get going. That's how I was raised. Um, what's that? Chocolate. Chocolate. That's good. It's sort of, you know, money for the stomach. That's good. You know, my, one of my favorites is actually the, one of the motivational things that I've always used because I was raised Catholic is guilt. Anyway. <laughs> But this is what it says in the book, and this is so funny in the manual, and this is, I quote, this is how you reward people to motivate them. Recognize immediately. Reward someone as soon as possible after the achievement. He's a good boy, Jim. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Here, have a cookie. <laughs> reward only when a person or team performs better than standard. But like I said, in my opinion, the best way to motivate people is through example. So get out there and be the example, like Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. I just want to finish with a couple quotes about leadership. <clears throat> if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, and become more, you are a leader. That was John Quincy Adams. Guy I went to junior high with. Uh. And, <laughs> but I think this one really says it all. It's a little bit more modern. From my friend's smashed mouth. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. Thank you.